Welcome everybody to our Halen Group Local Professional and Heroes series. And this is a brand new series. I'm so excited today um, to be speaking with Samantha Williams. Um, one of the reasons why I started doing this series is because that we know we have so many local heroes and local professionals in our community. And I just really want to get to know them better. Uh, I feel like this shelter in place is actually a great time for us to really learn about who they are, why they're doing what they do, and uh, you know what kind of life-changing things that they're doing for us. So today I want to welcome Samantha Poliams to our show. Thank you so much for being here, Samantha. I'm super excited that you asked to interview me. Thank you. Yeah, I, I know one of the reasons why I asked you is because I can totally see your passion and your work. Like throughout Facebook, social media, you know, I always say that I, I get so impressed by people who are passionate about their work because you're not doing it for the money, literally. You're doing it because you feel there's a purpose for it. So why don't you share with everybody that what do you do and how long have you been doing this? Yeah, so um, I guess, you know, first and foremost, I am a wife and I'm a mom to two little boys. I live here in the Silicon Valley. Um, I'm a native here to California. And um, I spent most of my career actually working in medical sales, but five years ago, I was just facing extreme burnout with managing a full-time job outside of the house and then having to manage everything inside the home as well. I just was really seeking something that would reignite and re-stir that fire inside of me. So five years ago, um, I decided to actually start a side business with a skincare company. And this, I did this alongside my full-time career. And, you know, my hope was that I was going to be able to later on leave my nine to five job and really have that lifestyle that I had wanted when I first went into that industry. Because at first I thought, you know, when I looked at pharmaceutical sales reps, um, they lived the life. It was a cush job. It was a six figure annual income. You got a company car, you got to get free lunches for your offices. And but those you know, jobs, it's great if before kids. Before kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, one child I was able to manage pretty much as I did um, before kids. I just was really tired. But then I think having a second child, it was just game changing. And I realized I needed more help. I realized that I really couldn't do it all. I realized I had to let a lot of things go. And I just realized, I don't know if it was maybe like, it wasn't a midlife crisis, but I was just looking at my life like, is this really all that life has? Because there has to be more to life than just coming home and feeling exhausted and, you know, maybe taking it out on my husband or, you know, being really short with my children. And I just, I did not want to live my life with any regrets. And I think for me growing up, just like a little backstory, um, my parents did the absolute best for me and I love my mom and dad and we're so lucky that they're in our lives and they're great, you know, grandparents. When I was growing up, life was a little bit different. Um, it was, you know, the 80s, and uh, they both had to work full time. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, had to be a latchkey kid. I carried my own kit, my own key, and I um, would let myself in, and I would be home alone for hours at a time. And my dad had to sort of move us to where there were job opportunities. So I moved to three different states. I went to five different elementary schools. Oh my so that whole experience for me was just, I wanted to be able to provide for my own children, um, just a different upbringing if I could. And again, the stability it for them. Yeah. And you know, again, nothing against my parents. They did what they had to do. Um, and I think I turned out fine, but I think all of that really just, um, weighed on my heart. And so when I was thinking about how do I want to, you know, proceed with, balancing um, a career and my home life. So again, um, I've had this side skincare business now um, that has allowed me just to plug in when I want to and work my own hours as I see fit and I can literally work it from everywhere. Some of the challenge that I was, challenges that I faced when I was looking for opportunities um, was you know, anything that would take me outside of the home and away from my kids, I would have to get a babysitter. So right. when I had two small children and I was looking at working part time, it, you know, at the end of the day, after the expenses of childcare, I wasn't really making more than a three figure monthly income. And I thought, you know, I need to find something that's going to be a little bit more flexible. So this has been a total game changer for me. And I ended up stepping away from my career. Um, and I have 
grown this huge base of customers over these last five years. And I've built this huge team of other skincare business owners. And I just absolutely love what I do. I love mentoring people. I love coaching people. Um, with my background working in medical, I spent a couple years working in dermatology. So I actually really enjoy just talking to people one-on-one -on -one if they have questions about their skin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, regardless if they end up purchasing items from me, I just love talking to them about what I've learned over the years. Um, so again, I really feel like I'm actually helping people and it's just reignited that spark that I thought that I had lost so many That's years That's awesome. I mean, I, I think what you said just now hit on so many different points, uh, how, you know, a lot of us, once we become a mom, life just changed. And it's not just about like, we don't have time anymore with, uh, you know, for ourselves. It's also like, who who am I? You know, we need to find ourselves again. It's, as a matter of fact, I don't, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm writing a book and there's this section of the book is talking about that. After I gave birth, I just feel lost. I was yeah. trying to find who, who I am again. So that's like the same psychology for a lot of people who may not realize what they are going to about to go through once they become a mother. And it's actually nice to hear from other mothers like yourself to say like, hey, it's normal. You're going to take time. You sometimes you have to sacrifice something in order to get something else. And for you, 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 you are able to find that balance is to find this part time job where you're still feeling very excited, passionate about it. And at the same time, you can still spend time with your kids. This is Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. So actually, <laughs> would you like to share with everybody like what what company do you work for? Yeah, so I am a skincare consultant for Rodan and Fields. It's actually the two Stanford trained board certified dermatologists who are still in practice here in the Bay Area. And they were the two founders of a highly known, highly acclaimed teen acne product that they later sold. They were seeing these patients year after year after year. And, you know, they had kind of graduated from this teenage acne line, and now they're seeing issues in, with adult skin, whether it's mm. wrinkles or age spots or you know, rosacea and sensitive skin issues. And so they decided to create their own namesake brand, hence Rodan and Fields. And it's, it's interesting because a lot of people don't really know our backstory, which we actually originally were sold under the Estee Lauder umbrella in big box department stores like Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus. And this was kind of before e-commerce businesses really took off and it was kind of before social media really took off and it was even before I think the smartphone. So they were starting to see that, and you probably see this with your business, Helen, that the best way to get a new client is through word of mouth referrals. Yes. So they decided to look into a way to grow the brand in more of a grassroots way because it's actually really expensive to do the traditional route nowadays. And and I think we've really just, as a society, kind of moved away from this model where a brand invests, you know, multiple millions of dollars in advertising spending dollars and, you know, has that presence in retail stores. So much now is sold online. I mean, gosh, with Amazon um, and all these online retailers, mm -hmm. like it just dramatically changed how we consume as an economy. Um, so they were kind of like forethinking thinking and sort of revolutionary in thinking, you know what, instead of having um, these department stores be the middle person, we're going to actually let somebody like Sam be our brand ambassador, use every single one of our products, be obsessed with them, and just share it with her network and get commissions off of it. But of course, the brand ambassador, they will have to use it themselves and they really show some progress, which is, that's why I see that you're so passionate because you <laughs> post it on Facebook. It's like, this is before and this is after. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's really, it's fun for me. It's very creative. And I always thought that I was, you know, more of the business minded person. And I think I'm actually more of like an artist minded person. Yeah. I love anything with photography. Um, I love using different apps just to, you know, put side-by-side -side pictures together. I love different creative ways to brand that pique curiosity. Um, so yeah, I've definitely tried to help all of my team, um, you know, really market in a good and useful and helpful way. Cause there are definitely a lot of people that sort of give our industry a bad rap where, you know, I don't know that they're thinking about 
value add, you know, for the people who watch them on social media. So I'm glad that you're enjoying my posts. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's right. So when you talk about your industry, a bad rep, right? Um, specifically, we're talking about MLM. So this is basically called multiple level marketing. And um, there's a bad rep because there are always these bad companies maybe had used this format as a scheme to trick people into this industry. However, there are a lot of very successful companies using this format, Mway, Herbalife, Sunrider. I mean, my family actually had used all of those products before as well. I actually was part of also another company called Synergy and they're still around in Utah. So I think that that industry actually does work for a lot of people and you can make really good money. But just in any profession, you have to be passionate about what you're doing in order to make money. Instead of chasing after money, you need to chase after your passion if you really truly believe in it, right? So that's why when I saw your products, I was just like, okay, the lash boost. Oh my gosh, look at her eyelashes. And <laughs> what, what I think is so cool about what you're doing is that um, what you were saying earlier about women after they gave birth, the skin started to change. Um, I was just telling my husband yesterday, I was like, oh my God, look at this one spot I have here. It's like getting bigger. I don't, I don't know what happened. It seems like sometimes it goes lighter and then sometimes it gets darker. And, uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have more wrinkles now, especially now that I'm over 40, way past 40. Really, I could feel that I was like, I need to do certain exercises to my skin so that it will stay fresh and <laughs> yoga, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and a lot of people might say like, oh my gosh, that is, um, it's like, it, it, you, you may not understand how much this affects somebody's self-confidence. And that's actually the part about the makeup or these cosmetics is that it helps somebody's confidence when they show up on camera, let's say, or in person. You just want to feel good about yourself, right? not losing who you are. So which products do you like the most? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I know you've touched on so many things. Um, and I, I have a few here that I am going to show you. So I know for so many of us, cause we're recording this during the pandemic. Um, you know, we can't have a facial, <laughs> not able to go to salons. I mean, maybe it's outside now. I don't know. Um, so man, my business has actually been growing through this pandemic because a lot of people are turning to at-home treatments. Oh. So this is called our AMP Roller. So it's a handheld tool and it comes with little ampules filled with our highest potency of uh, retinol, which is a topical Retin-A. And none of our products require a prescription, which is really nice because some people across the country don't have access to a dermatologist or maybe your dermatologist has been closed for a while. So this roller contains little micro needles little medical grade needles. It comes with purification tablets. So if you're ever looking for something to, um, to roll over your skin or to create little micro punctures, um, just be careful and find something that you can actually sterilize because if you have any bacteria on your skin, you wanna make sure that you're, having, you're applying this to a clean skin, then something that's not cleaned well can actually spread bacteria. So that's not what you want. So our tool comes with its own purification system. And what's lovely is you might have your own products that you absolutely love. And this is something that you can add on to what you're already using. It's only going to amplify your results. So if somebody is looking to help visibly firm their skin, visibly tighten their skin, if you want to reduce those visible wrinkles, this is something that's incredible. This packs the biggest punch. And I think I want to say about five or six years ago, the Today Show did a segment on this Amp and Be Roller. Really? Wow. They said it was the best spent minute in anti-aging. So if that's so this is like a, a replacement of regular facial if you usually go to uh, facial places. So I don't do facial, so I don't really know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> For my friends, I would never say this is to replace a facial. I would say this is to use in between facials, but right now we're not really able to, at least in our county, yeah. I don't know any people who are doing facials right now. This is sort of an adjunct. It can add it to your routine. Mm -hmm. For those who, like you who don't get routine facials, this is something that would just amplify your results. Um, and I do have a lot of people too who are um, intrigued by, you know, organic products. Um, or something that doesn't contain any type of topical. So the tool itself, I always kind of talk to people um, in that camp about because it's, it's a tool that you can kind of use with what you already are using. Um, I will also say too that 
kind of the core of our business and what has named us the number one premium sold skincare brand for the last four years in the United States are our regimens. And our number one sold regimen is actually this beauty here. It's called Redefine. Um, all of our regimens come bundled. They're really, really simple. They're numbered, you know, number one for cleansing. Um, we've got most steps have a toning or most um, systems have a toner step. And then um, we usually have a treatment step and all of our lines contain a sunscreen. So my mm -hmm. tip for anybody who's watching this takeaway, just make sure that you are protecting your skin. Your biggest defense against those wrinkles and aging is to protect your skin. I'm at the point now, cause I run a lot. I'm wearing that kooky visor that I, it makes me look crazy. <laughs> um, cause I'm really, really adamant. Like if I'm, my kids are playing baseball, you know, out in the field, I'm the one wearing the hat. Like I'm, I, I'm a little overboard, but. That's, that is actually a good thing. You know, I did not know that you're supposed to put on sunscreen until I think I was 24 years old mm -hmm. and I grew up in Hong Kong. So we never put on sunscreen because it just doesn't look like California. We don't have California sun over there. And uh, so I came here, I still didn't use sunscreen. I was like, oh my gosh, I love the weather over here. I love the sun, this and that. And people could, was telling me, it was like, hey, you need to put on sunscreen. I'm like, eh, whatever, I love the sun. I'm just gonna go sun bathing and all that stuff. Now, I think when I was like 30 something years old, starting to see freckles and yeah. this one big age spot on, on my skin. And now I keep telling my kids like, you better put on sunscreen. I learned my lesson now. I was like, don't yes. be like me. So I, I definitely agree with you. People need to learn how to protect their skin. Um, it's not about being superficial. You know, it's just a, it's a way to protect the sun. It, it is damaging to your skin. Um, I actually have a question for you because again, I think a lot of people just like what you said earlier that right now during the pandemic, some people may, may have been furloughed. Um, they do want to look for some additional income. This job seems to be pretty fun and also can help make some money. But truth to be told, it is not easy. It's not like, oh, I join and then I will start making money. So what kind of advice would you give somebody who wants to join your company to be part of the consult, uh, one of the consultants? How, how should they work so that they can actually start uh, receive, receiving some income. Sure, yeah, and I think this is true for anybody, whether you sign somebody to your agency, um, somebody's a full-time student, no matter what, you know, when you commit to something, my number one recommendation for somebody who wants to really build and grow their Rodan and Fields business is to just remain consistent and to really figure out ways to dedicate time to the business. Our business is really, really simple. There is no required training, no certification required. You don't actually need to have a background in sales. You really don't need to know anything about skincare products. Um, you just need to have passion. <laughs> well, I think an excitement, and, and I found that you know people who are really driven, people who um, are competitive, people who are good with habit formation, it's almost just a matter of identifying the right type of people who do well in this, um, in this type of role. There are some, you know, people I've just learned over the years that would prefer that they work in a different, you know, more structured type of business. And then there are people like me and probably like you who really just like to do their own thing and they want to figure it out. Um, so I think consistency really in our business is the biggest thing and just a wanting and a desire to see it through. I think no matter what, no matter any new venture that any of us take on, we're going to have that fear that, oh my gosh, what if this goes south? What if I'm terrible at this? What if I don't make any money from this? And I think the the true factor that separates somebody who's successful from somebody who's who ends up quitting, I guess, um, is the fact that there are some people who who come across adversity, they're rejected, they are told no, and they continue to move along. Mm -hmm. And I think there are some people who haven't quite learned how to be resilient in the face of adversity, which is something I'm really trying to push with my children because I feel like, you know, these generations of kids that are coming out, they don't quite know how to face adversity yeah. all that well. And, you know, even as adults, like I know I can be a perfectionist sometimes. And so I'm even trying to coach myself and, and seeking, you know, material and content and 
um, coaching myself on, you know, how can I have more of a growth mindset and look at this, what feels like a fail and actually see what I can learn from it and then apply that. So that's kind of the attitude that I think has really taken me far is, um, you know, having the excitement for, for what can happen, not letting um, rejection or things that are hard really derail me. And I think with anything, you know, whether you're on a fitness journey or you're an entrepreneur or, you know, you're trying to have a baby, like whatever your, your path and your journey is in life, I think it's just um, staying focused and mm -hmm. staying the course and staying in your own lane. I don't know. Those are just some tips. Uh, those are great, actually really great advice. It's like not just in your industry, but in anything you want to succeed in life. And uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday I was just doing a webinar and I said same kind of similar what you're saying. It's like, you know, actually we fear the most is like when somebody just stop not doing anything because of fear. We got to just keep moving, keep trying. It's okay. What's the worst? You know, is the worst is that, okay, it doesn't work out, but you got to try. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, our life is full of unexpected incidents and no one, no one successful person that we know have not failed before, right? If you don't fail, how do you learn? <laughs> so I, I say that to my kids same thing. I was like, you gotta, you gotta fail. If you don't fail, then you're not going to learn from mistake and do it better next time. So thank you so much, Samantha. Oh my gosh. I think like you today, you have shared with us so many things about like your mom, about, you know, your business, your why, and how your skincare products can help people and also mindset of being a business owner. So this is really exciting. Yes. And I would love if anybody wants a personalized skincare recommendation, I'd love to connect with them, whether it's over social media. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to help, you know, if anybody has some questions about our industry in particular, I'm always happy to share that with anyone. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Samantha. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, make some comments because we're going to keep you posted on the most updated real estate news, housing market data, and also real estate tips and advice from all over the real estate industry. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.